We've talked about the Patriots-Texans coaching ties before, and we're continuing that conversation today as Houston has requested an interview with New England Director of Players Personnel, Nick Casario. The Carolina Panthers also jumping on that opportunity as well, looking to interview Casario. Casario was up for this job back in 2019 with the Texans, but language in his contract uh, kept that from happening, Evan. This year, zero language in the contract restricting him. What is your reaction to all of this? Well, the NFL, as they typically do, made a rule that was directly related to the Patriots back in May that prevented teams from putting language in in contracts of executives that weren't considered general managers for their respective teams. So director of player personnel, college directors, pro personnel directors, those guys can no longer be blocked by their current team from moving upward in the uh, chain, food of, uh, you know, chain of command, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Uh, so Casario can go from director of player personnel to general manager of the Houston Texans, and there is nothing that the Patriots can really do at this point to block him from doing that. So not like the last time around when this happened, when there was that language in Casario's contract this time, he is free to leave. And I think that this one is interesting because the Texans seem to be ridding themselves of Patriot disciples. Bill O'Brien no longer there. Mm -hmm. I don't think Jack Easterby's time is going to last much longer in Houston either. So this is one that I don't see as likely happening as maybe a year ago uh, now, because I don't know if the Texans want to bark up the Patriot coaching general manager tree again with the success or lack thereof it's had for them over the last couple of years. Now should Casario leave whether it be the Texans the Panthers or some other team who are some potential in-house replacements for him for the Patriots? Well, I think it's also important to mention with Casario that his role, unlike a lot of director, player, personnel, general managers, expands beyond just what he does in terms of the personnel side of things. He's a a coach, essentially, and a general manager. Uh, He's out there at practice every single day. He's working with uh, players. He's working with the quarterbacks and receivers in particular. He is then in the booth on game day, in the coach's booth, in Bill Belichick's ear, in Ernie Adams' ear, in Josh McDaniels' ear, talking them through situations and, and, and brainstorming ideas and things like that. So there's not a lot of GMs, personnel execs that are in the building that often, that are involved that much in the day-to-day of the team. Most of those guys are up in the top floor worrying about the uh, the roster and the depth chart and the salary cap and all that kind of stuff. Nick Casario is not one of those guys. So I think that's an interesting element of wherever he were to go is, are they going to give him that kind of power that he's going to be able to have his toes in all of those different pools or all those different ponds. In terms of in-house candidates for the Patriots, Dave Ziegler, who's currently the uh, pro personnel director is probably the best candidate to replace uh, Nick Casario. Ziegler has been there for a long time. Uh, He is on the side of things that handles free agency, trades, that sort of thing. And he's had a lot of success, obviously, over the years in certain aspects of that as well. So I think the Patriots would be in pretty good hands moving on uh, from Casario to Ziegler. But again, it's not just one thing that they would have to replace Casario on or two things. It's a multitude of things. And he does a lot of different uh, wears a lot of different hats in the building so it would be a big loss for the Pats. Do you see them looking outside the organization? Well they did bring in Elliot Wolf, uh, Ron Wolf's I believe it's his it's one of his relatives. I always forget if it's his son or if it's his grandson. Ron Wolf is a legendary uh, Packers executive who had really started the process of transitioning the NFL into the salary cap era. So Elliot Wolf has a lot of experience in the league. He's somebody that the Patriots have uh, on this, on staff right now, sort of an advising role, not necessarily a direct role uh, to the player personnel side, but he's someone that's advising them in different decisions and things like that. So maybe he could be a guy that gets a bigger, more prominent role if Nick Casario were to move on. In terms of going outside the organization, I mean, I guess you could bring back like a Thomas Dimitrov, who is obviously fired by the Falcons, who has a Patriots uh, root and people like that that maybe the Patriots would like to bring back to kind of support their staff but I think that they would continue to uh, promote with it from within uh, would be the most likely outcome. All right well I guess we'll just have to stay tuned and see what happens for all of our Patriots coverage head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass.